This podcast is brought to you by LMU Munich. Data engineer dynamics, and the topic for our next talk is um, efficient Python. Please make a welcome, please. Hi, everybody. So uh, it's presentation about uh, how to uh, to have an efficient Python code uh, while it's also an idiomatic code and it's not, I try to not make it uh, advanced, so it's, uh, it's medium level. Uh, I'm, uh, I present myself, so uh, as he already said, I'm Salwa, uh, working as a senior data engineer at, at the company Dynamics. I have been uh, here in Germany uh, now for uh, three years. Before I was working in France in the topic of computer vision and now I'm working on the advertisement topic. So uh, the first tip uh, to, uh, for Id idiomatic code is one of the main uh, Python core, uh, uh, core uh, t topics is to beg, for to beg forgiveness instead of ask for permissions. But is it, the question is uh, if it's always useful to have an efficient code. So here is the first test. Uh, here I try to get uh, some lines from, from, uh, from a file. But before getting the, the lines, I, I need to check if the file exists or not. So for that, I use if statement. If, it, uh, if the file doesn't exist, then I, I return none. Otherwise, I, I uh, read the lines. So th another alternative is to do uh, a try except uh, statement. And here we see that it takes longer. So uh, the, the try except is the way we uh, is the begging forgiveness because here we don't check if the if the file exists or not. The t the execution time is quite the same thing. So the question is, should we use try except or uh, if else statements? So for some cases it's uh, it's better to use try except. For other cases, no. So here is, for example, uh, in case of uh, the when, when we have object, here we have simple class with, simple, uh, with only one attribute. So we need to check at some point if the attribute is the, uh, the class has an attribute called hello or not. And the execution time compared to uh, the try except use is, is higher. So here it's better to use uh, to, beg for, uh, to beg forgiveness instead of asking for permission. So Uh, so, in general, it's, uh, here you see that the code is faster and more readable when we use a try and accept because here we needed to, to, have, a call to, use a, to have a call to has attribute and then do the check. I, with a bigger code, it will be uh, more difficult to read and more difficult to maintain. So, as a basic rule of thumb, use the, task, uh, the ask for permission way if you know that it's uh, there is very likely uh, the attribute will be missing, or the f in case of file, the file will not uh, will not exist. Otherwise, um, yeah, use try except. Here is another another example. So uh, the try except use is context dependent, actually. You would say well, that we can use it to check, for example, if a key exists inside the dictionary, but in the case of dictionaries, we can j simply use the, the get function, with, uh, which already does this check. Another tip is to use list to do list comprehension. So uh, here, I, it's a simple function to calculate odd values. And uh, the, the simplest solution, the, the first solution would be to just have a for loop on a certain number of elements and then check if the, the rest of the division is equal to zero or not. If, if yes, then we append it to the result. So there we have a list and here it's in a list comprehension way and we see that when we do list comprehension it's way uh, faster. In case of string, conc string concatenation, so usually what people do, they, uh, they just do uh, the variable containing a string plus the, the, the new string to append to it, but this is not efficient at all, so the recommended way to do it is to, do, uh, to use join strings. So here uh, you see the difference between the use of uh, 
simple concatenation with plus and join, the join method is also more efficient. Yeah. Also, simple, simple thing. When, uh, when you check for true, it's better to, to simply check the value with if val, for example. Here, you see that if val equal equal to true, it's, uh, at first it's not idiomatic at all, so it's better to do val is true. And the val is true is more efficient. Here, um, it's normally, it's normally uh, more efficient than using val equal equal true. And the best solution to do it in a more ef way, more efficient way is to do if val. In case of lists, for example, or uh, other iterables, it's, it's better to use if list to check if the list is, uh, is empty or not. Instead of doing if list equal, uh, equal empty, empty list or uh, length of list is equal to zero. So th this way is more efficient than doing um, uh, a check for the length of the list. Now uh, we, um, here I will talk with, uh, about the iterables, iterators and generators. So before, uh, do uh, everybody know about generators? Who knows about generators? Oh, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so the main uh, rule of thumb is, maybe everybody know about it, is to use generators instead of returning lists. If you have a huge list that you need to, uh, to return from a function, you, it's better to return it uh, lazily, so wherever you consume the content of the list, it will be the the value will be evaluated at this moment. So here is a comparison between loading some articles uh, the, from, uh, yeah, loading some articles from file. Here I need to read some, uh, I have a file containing uh, articles and the number of visits of those articles on a certain web page. And I need to, to, write, to write the file line by line and then split it and then get the, get the, the article and the count and then append it to the list. In, in case of using the generator, it will be simply uh, by replacing the append statement by uh, yield. The, the code is, is, more, uh, is more simple here. We don't need to use the, the append and we don't need to initialize an empty list. And also it's way more efficient. And whenever we, we need the content of the list, we, we just do next and then we will get, sorry, and then we will get the content of uh, the next value inside the, the generator. We don't need to get them um, uh, in memory uh, at this, uh, once. So co uh, here you see that code is easier to read with less noise. We don't have, for example, the append. Uh, there is no more problems because of returned values. So whenever you can, uh, you can use generators, you do it. Here, uh, from the same file containing articles and the number of visits, I need to calculate the percentage of visits uh, of, uh, among all the articles of the website. So for, for that, I need to, to go over all of those articles, get the count for each one, and divide by, by the total number of visits. The first solution to do it is to get the, to get the, the let's say, the, the the set of articles, and then iterate over, uh, get the sum at first to get the total, and then iterate over the whole articles to do the, and then go the, the, do the percentage one by one. So here I will get them with a generator as usual, and then I will consume them one by one. Okay, uh, sorry, I had the results are not shown here. <laughs> or we can.
normally I should have uh, the, the output the output result of it and then we have the, the result the articles one by one but when we do the we use the generator here it, should, it will raise an exception <laughs> normally I don't have the output I am I still need to regenerate the slide okay So the question is, why do we have do we have an error there? Disappear. Okay, so here there is an exception. Why? It, it will, we will have a stop iteration exception. Does anybody know about uh, the cause of this error? So here, I iterate over the, all the articles and then do the, the sum, get the total, and then reiterate all over all the article, all of the articles, and then calculate the percentage. At some point, I will get here. I will get stop iteration exception. Yeah. Why? Because. Yeah. So what would be the solution for that? No. <laughs> Actually, so the, the, I repeat the problem. The problem is that here we consume it, we, uh, we iterate, we got all the elements from the generator. So we don't have any new element to, to iterate over it uh, in the for loop. That's why we get the stop iteration. A solution for that is to use, so here, uh, I should get the, the exception. The solution for that is to get uh, to use iterators. So the iterator, uh, iterator is simply a stateful helper object that will produce the next value whenever we, we, we do next on it. And uh, it follows the iterator protocol of Python. Uh, what this iterator protocol says, uh, it can be passed to next function which gives the next item on raise stop, stop uh, and then at the end of the of the, uh, all the uh, consuming all the elements, it's, it raises a stop iteration, and it returns. They return themselves when passed to other uh, to the iter function. So here, it's here is a simple solution. This uh, example, this is an iterable uh, iterator. Sorry, uh, this is an iterat iterable a, a list containing three elements, and b uh, is an iterator on A, and C is also an iterator on A. When we print B and uh, we print C, we will get the same results. And if we check B is C, B is C are, uh, are the same objects. So this is the, uh, actually that's the main important tip to solve this problem here. So in order to, have to use the iterator twice, the, the, the generator content twice, we need to use an iterator, an iterator. For that, we need to create, so this is uh, just a reminder for the initial function called uh, to load the objects with the generator uh, and it returns, so article and account. The solution for that is to simply make, uh, make this the content of this function to use it in the context of a class which is an iterator. The iterator, as I said, needs to have an iter function to iterate over it. And wait, sorry, when you see when you see here the when you see here the for loop here, when we loop over pop, the iter function will be called. So that's why here, in the iter function, we we have uh, we have the, f the, the 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 statements that read from the file and return also a generator. So whenever we call the generator, we will use the same the same object and the same uh, we will use the iter function, the same iter function. So here uh, it will not. If I use it, 
if I use load articles instead of this, instead of, uh, instead of the, this way, so I use here, instead of load articles list, I use an object, the object that I created, the new iterator, and there it will not fail. Did you get what I mean? Hopefully. So here uh, I, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about ITER tools library. It's a library offering uh, a lot of uh, useful, very useful tools, uh, very useful functions in the context, uh, context of data science or simply data analysis. So uh, here it's just a simple example of Fibonacci uh, function. And we are creating, as usual, we need to create a list and then we append the value to the list. The better solution and more efficient solution for this is to create, uh, to have, to iterate over the, to, to, uh, to have a while, to, uh, a while loop and yield the value via gener uh, a generator. And the, the, here the generator is very useful because you see, uh, when we want to get only the 10 first Fibonacci values, we can use the eSlice function, which is coming also from, uh, which is coming from ITER tools. So here we, uh, we use the Fibonacci. We, uh, we use the Fibonacci function as a parameter, the start uh, step, and the, the end step. So the slice, it does a slice of the, uh, on the generator, not on a list. So here you can use a, a generator and you can, do, you can do a slice on it. Instead of having a list that you, uh, from which you get only the 10 first elements. You can also filter. Yeah, if you want only uh, from the Fibonacci values, we want only, uh, no, uh, here's just simple filter on it, uh, from ITER tools. So if you want to filter, for example, only uh, odd values, you can use filter function, uh, filter functions, the built-in filter function in Python 2.7. Then in Python 3, uh, I filter, which is in ITER tools, became called filter. So here, it's just a comparison between both filter and I filter. Actually, filter uh, is also returning a generator, and they are quite similar in Python 2.7. But in Python 2, uh, in Python Python 3, uh, it became filter. So uh, slice, as I already mentioned, it is uh, used to get a slice on on a, a slice uh, a subset of a generator. It takes an iterable as as first parameter, start, stop, and a step, optional, uh, as optional uh, argument. So here, we can simply, uh, just a reminder, we can simply get, using the Fibonacci function, you can get the, the 10 first elements by using slice. There is also a very interesting uh, f function called drop while. It, uh, it helps, uh, it, it lets you, uh, drop elements as long as the filter criteria is, is true. So here, for example, we want to, uh, from the 10 first elements that we already sliced from the, uh, previously, we want to get the values that are high, uh, higher than 10. So with this, we can use drop while with the predica predicate which is uh, x less than 10. And the iterable is the result of slice. So here we are combining. We are using the result of e slice, which is also a generator uh, uh, to which we apply drop while. And then we can make it a list, if you want a list. There is also take while, which creates an iterator that returns element from, uh, elements from the iterable only, as long as our predicate or filter is true. So here, just uh, here, it's an, uh, an example. If you want only uh, the elements that uh, the values that are less than ten, we can also apply take while like we did for like we did previously for drop while. It's the opposite of drop while actually. This is for dropping, and this is for keeping values. 
also a very interesting function, uh, which is group by applicable on iterables, and it returns consecutive keys and uh, groups from uh, the iterable. So, uh, simple example, if you want to make a dictionary with the Fibonacci numbers, group it by, uh, which, uh, by uh, even or odd values. So we can get a, dictionaries, a dictionary with uh, both values splitted. For that, we can, we can do group by uh, on the slice, I, because I just wanted to apply on the 10 first, uh, 10 first elements of the Fibonacci values, and then here is the... Uh, just I say that the key will be the key of the dictionary will be odd if x uh, the 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 rest of the division is is not zero otherwise it will be e sorry the key will be even and at the end we have dictionary uh, of containing odd values and e uh, even values separated. Um, yeah. If, uh, if we want also to iterate, uh, use iterator several times, it's, uh, y we can also use t function which, uh, through which we can uh, precise the number of times we use this iterable. Uh, by default, it's two. And here, uh, also even and odd example, we can, we can uh, filter them. Th uh, we can fill, yeah. Here, w I slice it, the, I, uh, I use the gen I use the two generators from the slice as usual generator one and generator two. I wanted from the first generator to get even values and from the second generator to get odd values. For that, I use I filter false and I filter. I filter false is the opposite of I filter. So uh, it returns the value when the predicate is, evalua is return, uh, evaluated to false. Also combinations, it creates an iterator from uh, an iterable that is uh, some, some length long. So here we can, for example, let's say we have a certain number of letters and we want to have the combinations, uh, the, all the possible combinations of, from those letters. Here, I actually, sorry, I have a problem. Normally, I see all the results. It's a problem of Jupiter. So I, I should see all the combinations, like uh, two letters combinations. At the end, you should see WX, WY, WZ, uh, XY, XZ, etc. All the co possible combinations from from those uh, from the provided iterable. Also, a uh, very useful product in case uh, of. Uh, we want to have a Cartesian product from, from, it, from an iterable, just simply call products, and we will have the, the result of the Cartesian product of arrays, between all of those arrays. But unfortunately, it's not shown. The result is not shown here. Permutations, it returns uh, sec, uh, all the permutations of elements from the iterable that you provide. So here we will get uh, w, uh, this is to provide all possible permutations of length, y, uh, length 3. So we will get WXY, WXZ, all the possible per permutations. And it will return, uh, they will return it in form of uh, tuples. And here just join them to get them as uh, whole in uh, whole word. Thanks.